So I'm now back from my week long trip. Now I was actually at Disney World. I posted some of the bass picks that I caught when I was down there because you can actually do like a bass fishing thing while you're there. I uh, caught about 25 bass. So it was pretty fun. We were fishing with just shiners. And I uh, posted some of the bigger, you know, the nicer ones on my Instagram. So go follow my Instagram. Go like those photos. But I got to get you guys caught back up on everything. There's uh, quite a few things I need to talk about. So here's the first thing. As you can see, um, this is not a 56 gallon tank, the tank that is normally right here. Now, it's as long as the tank, but it's not as big. This is only about a 20 gallon or so. Now, here's what happened. So the tank that I had reset back up because I had a leak in it right before I left, I put it in the video, put a little montage at the beginning of the video of me setting it back up and uh, putting it, you know, back into place right here. I kind of changed out and uh, made it look a little bit better with the sand instead of the blue gravel. Well, actually somehow there was another leak so while i was gone uh my grandma actually had to take it down and uh, she just set this other tank up in place of it now now this tank right here is a tank i've had for uh, about a few months now i got it from the same people that i got the flower worms tank from chungus tank the 30 gallon so this is a little bit smaller now it's just as long and the tetras love it as you can see they love going back and forth but it's nowhere near as big as the tank that is normally right here. So this is just temporary until I get the tank back fixed and then get it set back up again. And then of course I'll have the, all the fish back into the 56 gallon tank. But all the fish are looking great. The filamentosa barbs, the big Congo tetra, the dojo loaches, and the doorbell is ringing and my dogs are barking. Parrot fish, they're all doing great. Let me get the door. So here's the goldfish slash turtle pond. It is looking great. As you can see, I added a whole bunch of pea gravel. We got to get some more to go back there and a little bit back there. And also added some on the inside. You can actually see the fish a lot better. But uh, yeah, I actually added a whole bunch of new little mosquito fish earlier this morning. I added about 20 or so of them. And uh, just because there wasn't that many left here. But the ones that are actually in here are huge. Like they are really, really, really big uh, mosquito fish because same thing as the goldfish do they just go around and uh you know just eat stuff all day long within this pond but yeah i added a whole bunch of those guys and uh it's a lot easier to see them now you can probably see some darting around out here but uh yeah they're all looking great and wait but today what we're gonna do is feed the turtles some of these dried mealworms right here this is something i've actually never ever even fed my turtles before and uh they're gonna love it i know they are i've never fed these to them but uh someone actually gave me the rest of them they actually had some turtles and they actually gave me uh, the rest of the mealworms they said they loved them so i'm gonna try feeding them uh to my turtles that guy is sleeping right now but uh the other two are awake that one peeping out and then that one right there so we're gonna go and feed these guys and uh let's see if they even hand feed okay, so i got one of them right here and uh, we're gonna feed this guy right here first oh got it i'm gonna feed this guy he's a little bit smaller oh oh another one's coming in he's hogging it this guy's just hogging it all he's just a little bit bigger but he's a lot more dominant than this guy all right, we'll put it right there in front of him. Oh, better get it. Dude, he didn't even see it. Are you kidding me? Yep, yep, okay, yep, okay. All right, just drop those in. They love them, though. There's no doubt about that. I'll come back and feed this guy when he's up a little bit later, but look at him trying to fight over. Dude, there's like two more. They always want to fight over stuff. They see one get something, they start running away with it, and then the other ones just come after him and chase it, try to, you know, snatch out of their mouths, but they love them. They are tearing them up. And uh, that's pretty much all those guys need. Now this will be pretty interesting to see what happens now. Uh, the only thing in here is, is of course the soft shell and the musk turtle. Now these two are kind of shy turtles. They're, the soft shell is right back there. And the plants and the musk turtle is right over here. We've had this guy for quite a while now. But the soft shell is pretty new. We've only had it for about a week now. So he's been eating. But he's not really been eating in front of me. So uh, we're going to see if this guy will eat uh, on the surface at least because what I've been feeding him is just some shrimp and of course that sinks and this doesn't sink so I don't know if we'll eat from the surface or not just yet but we're about to find out and you can see the mustard turtle coming out right over there so I just put some kind of like right there in front of him and uh, we'll see what he does he might eat on me might not I'm gonna kind of back up a little bit and I'll zoom in some see what this guy oh he's coming out oh my gosh he got him he just got one look at him oh he's running off with it look at that guy Oh snap, look at him. Look at that guy back there. He's just peeping out at me. It looks like the freaking Loch Ness Monster. Have you, have you guys ever noticed that? They look like freaking Loch Ness Monsters. That's freaking crazy. Just look how long their neck is. Freaking giraffe turtles, what they should call them. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. Oh, we got another one. Look at that. Just runs off with it, though. He's still pretty spooked about that when he grabs food. And I'm right in front of him, but it's crazy. That's the second one he ate. Oh, yeah, he's zooming now. Yep, yep, we freaked him out. Okay, we're going to leave him alone. 
So I've got a pretty good amount right here for these guys. These guys are my biggest turtles and they can really eat a lot. And I expect the goldfish to, you know, eat a few of these as well. So we're going to go and put some of these in here and uh, watch these guys just chow down. Because I know for sure these guys are going to eat them. There's, there's no doubt that they are. Look at that one mosquito fish though. That guy is huge. Wait a minute. Look at that. Look how fat he is compared to that little bitty one swimming right there next to him. That, that's what I'm talking about, about how big they really are in here. You know what? I would try to hand feed one of these guys because I know he will easily hand feed, but I'm just going to chunk those in there and just watch them come up. The goldfish are going to come up too, and also the mosquito fish will. Oh, oh, look at that guy. That's the most personal one in here that I will easily hand feed, and you can see that guy. Look at him coming up. I'm not going to spook him. Now that guy right over there is the, the newest one they removed from here. Oh, he actually did spook. That's really good because he hasn't been in here for that long, only about a week now. And uh, he was actually the one that I moved out of the cooler. Yep. Look at that guy. Just chopping him down. The other one's in here he's somewhere. He should come up in a second. Oh, look at that guy. Look at him. He's not even spooking. That's really, really good because, like I said, he has not been in here that long. Oh, here comes the biggest turtle. Here he is. Oh, 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 oh. Got it. Look at him. Look at him. They are chomping it away right now. Yeah, there's a little cricket. Look at him. Oh my gosh, we're going to grab him. We're going to go feed this guy to the butterfly fish. Look at him. Here he is right here. I'm just going to scoop him up. And, uh, oh, he's going to hop off. He's going to hop off. Dang it. All right, so there he is right there. And uh, there's the butterfly fish right there. Now, I actually added this little grass mat, as you can see right there. You know, there it is. Okay, so I added this little grass mat. Then I actually cut out a little opening in, like, in between the middle of it. So that way you can actually swim in between it. And kind of like hide up in there if he really wants to but he's been just kind of hanging out to the outside of it but i'm gonna go ahead and drop this guy on in right now and let's see if he eats him oh he kind of spooked but i'm gonna put him in he's been getting her a lot more used to me now even though he's spooked right there look at him look at him oh he sees him he's got to see him just wait till he moves oh my gosh he got him oh my gosh look at that he's gone he's gone he got him freaking insane dude oh my gosh did he freaking crushed him that was crazy, dude. Oh my gosh. So here's another thing I actually noticed when I came back. So the two Electro Blue Jack Dempsey's, as you can see, they are looking great. But uh, one of them is almost double the size of the other one. Now, I don't think, you know, a lot of this didn't really happen when I was, you know, going on the week-long trip or nothing. But it kind of, some growing did happen, I can tell. You can see that guy right there. You can see, you can see the, dif the difference right now. I mean, you can literally see that that guy right there. It's almost twice the size of that guy, and uh, his his color is a little bit brighter than that one. He's a little bit darker, but yeah, that's one thing I really, really did notice when I came back. Like you can see an obvious size difference between the two, but they still look great, and all the fish in there are doing great. So here's the Curbenzis now. Quick update on the babies. So unfortunately, one of the things I was afraid of with the babies is that uh, the parents could eat them, and. Uh, that's what happened. Uh, it's just because these are first-time parents, for at least what I know, it uh, they were traded into the store, so they may have already had babies before. But they have eaten the babies, which is okay. I mean, they're gonna have, they're gonna spawn again. Like the Curbenzis, they they're really, really easy to breed. Like I've said in the past, but uh, you know, they're, they're gonna spawn again, so I'm not too worried about that. This time, what I'm gonna do though, I'm not gonna have the babies in there for very long, and I'm just gonna pull the parents out the tank and put them in another tank and. Uh, just let the babies just have that tank, raise them up in there. This time, the next time they actually spawn, I will make sure that they do not eat any of the babies. While Lupe Cichlids are looking great, there's the bigger, a little bit more dominant one. Kind of goes after the other one sometimes, but it's not too bad where his fins are all nipped up or anything. As you can see, the other guy back there, he looks totally fine. But uh, also, I might end up taking the little green Cory Cat. I don't know if it'll focus. Yep. You can see the green one with Albino right there. I might end up taking the green one out and like putting them in the puffer tank right over there or maybe in the beta tank. We're gonna get to that big old banana plant in a second, but and then I'll probably just get another albino cory to go along with the other one in here. But yeah, I mean they're doing fine. It's just that the little green cory cat has been getting picked on a little bit by a little bit more dominant uh, La Lupe cichlids, which is really something I really did not expect. But like I said, I probably am gonna just go and take that guy out and go and get another bigger albino quarry cat for this tank so yeah uh this banana plant was doing some growing before i left it had this big leaf right here and it had this big one that it shot out up here it is almost like a dang lily pad you can see it at the top and it could easily go even higher it's even curled up right there but before i left that was pretty much it all these little leaves were i mean they were bigger than that banana plant but 
they weren't nothing like they are now. And I come back and I see this. I'm like, holy cow, dude. Do you see how big this thing is? Like, that is a huge, huge banana plant. Like, it is so big. Almost every single one of the leaves are almost at the top now, except for these little smaller ones down there at the bottom. But pretty soon, all of these are going to be at the top, as you can see, just like that one right there. Now, that one actually... It came out as a sprout. It just shot that one out, like, really, in a really short amount of time. But, yeah, that thing is, and it obviously has done a lot of growing uh, within the past week. But there's the female beta right there and uh, the three neons right there. So they're doing great. Well, that is pretty much it for now. Kind of give you guys, you know, some updates on, on some things that happened while I was going on the trip. Actually, in a few days, I'll be going back on another trip. Not a week-long trip, but a few days, I'll be going to a beach, and uh, we'll do some, probably try to do a fishing video there, at least one. That was the first time I actually ever fed the turtles mealworms. They absolutely love them, as you can see, and uh, I was pretty surprised at how well the soft show ate them. Be sure to drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And with that being said, you guys, I will catch you on the next video. Peace.